Hello, good day everyone. This is Andrew again and now we're going to discuss PNP or sourcing, NPN or syncing, and uh, PLC common. We're also going to discuss the wiring configuration of PLC. Let's start. The first question here is, do you know if your device is NPN or PNP? And based on my experience here in automation industry, NPN has a negative input or output, and PNP has a positive input or output. It doesn't matter what kind of device it is. It can be sensor, PLC, or uh, any other type of device as long as it has an input or output of negative, it is NPN or the device has a positive input or output, it is PNP. Next, we have a PLC wiring configuration. Okay, this is the two rule that we need to follow here. If the sensor is NPN, then the PLC must be in NPN configuration. If the sensor is PNP, then the PLC must be in PNP configuration. And uh, we're going to discuss how to configure a PLC to make it uh, NPN or how to make it PNP. Okay, let's have this one. We have an NPN sensor. And as we discussed a while ago, NPN or syncing device has a negative input or output. And this sensor is NPN. That's why we have a negative output here. And to configure our PLC, to make this circuit work, we need to configure our PLC to NPN configuration also. And let's discuss how are we going to connect our PLC to make it NPN. First thing that we need to do is the common terminal is connected to positive. Then after that, uh, the input terminal requires a negative to operate. And as you can see here, the NPN sensor releases a negative signal which is required to our PLC input to make it work. Okay, next. We have the PNP configuration. Let's have PNP sensor here. And as we discussed a while ago, that a PNP or sourcing devices has a positive input or output. It means this sensor has a positive output. Then, now to make the PLC PNP, first thing that we need to do is to connect a common to negative terminal. And the input terminal requires positive to operate. And because our sensor releases a positive output, it is the required signal for our PLC to operate. Now, we have what will happen if the sensor is NPN and PLC is PNP configuration. PLC will not read the signal from the sensor because the sensor gives a negative signal while the PLC is waiting for a positive signal. And as you can see here, the current flow is in opposing direction. That's why it won't work. It's the same with the PNP sensor and PLC at NPN configuration. The PLC will not read the signal from the sensor because the sensor gives a positive signal while the PLC is waiting for a negative signal. Next, let's discuss the PLC output. First is how to configure our PLC output to NPN configuration. First thing that we need to do is common terminal is connected to negative. Next, PLC output must be connected to the negative terminal of the load. Then, the positive terminal of the load must be connected to the positive terminal of the power supply. 
the output terminal will release a negative voltage. And that's how are we going to configure a PLC output to make it NPN. And this one, how to make it PNP? First thing that we need to do is connect a common to positive terminal. Next, PLC output must be connected to the positive terminal of the load. Then, the negative terminal of the load must be connected to the negative terminal of the power supply. And the output terminal will release a positive voltage. And that's how are we going to configure our PLC output to make it PNP. And now I'm going to share with you some of industrial problems. First is we have an NPN sensor and our PLC is uh, PNP and the existing sensors that are connected to our PLC are in PNP connection and now our situation is you need to replace the sensor but you don't have PNP sensor but you have an NPN sensor but as we discussed a while ago we saw that uh, that circuit won't work if your sensor is NPN and your PLC is at PNP configuration. And now, this is the solution that we can do to make it work. First is we need to connect the output terminal of the NPN sensor to one of the terminal of the coil of the relay. And the other coil terminal must be connected to the positive of the power supply. Then, we need to connect the common of the relay to positive and the normally open connection to our input. And let's observe the current. First, it is an NPN sensor. It means it will draw a current from positive and now the coil generates an uh, electromagnetic field then the switch will turn on and that makes the connection to our x4 and positive complete and the current will now flow and as we know pnp requires a positive to work and we draw a positive voltage from our power supply okay now we have our pnp sensor and NPN PLC. First thing that we need to do is connect our output to one of the terminal of the coil. Then connect the other terminal to the negative. Connect the negative to the negative terminal of the power supply. Then connect the normally open to our X4. Now let's observe the current. For PNP sensor, it will release a positive voltage. And now the coil generates an electromagnetic field. And the connection between the negative and X4 is now closed. Then the current will flow. And as we know a while ago, the NPN input PLC requires a negative to operate which we draw from our power supply. Let's review. NPN or syncing devices has a negative input or output. PNP or sourcing devices has a positive input or output. And an NPN sensor will release a negative signal. And for NPN PLC, For the input, common must be connected to the positive. And for the output, common must be connected to negative. And for PLC input, it requires negative to operate when you are in NPN configuration. PLC output will release a negative signal. Next, we have PNP sensor. That sensor will release a positive signal. 
and for PNP PLC. For input, common must be connected to negative. And for output, common must be connected to positive. And PLC input requires a positive signal to operate for PNP configuration. And for PLC output, it will release a positive signal. And here, by the way, you can uh, make up NPN input, but your output is uh, PNP. You can make that if you want to. And it is same with the uh, input. You can make it PNP. And you can make also our output NPN. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks, and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.